everyone, so welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am free. I am breathing fresh air onto my face. And the reason why I'm doing so today is because I'm be, um, doing a first impression slash review of the brand new Lancome Miracle Cushion Foundation. Hopefully you can see and I'm not blinding you right over here. So it's been out, I think, for... I think just a little bit over a month and what it's supposed to do it says that it's a liquid cushion compact fresh dewy hydration absolute weightlessness and glow SPF 23 and the coverage is two out of four if you are um, accustomed to Lancome foundations usually on their packaging I don't know if you can see but there's like four little dots and out of the fours there's two that are filled in which means it's a light to medium coverage so talking about the product packaging is really nice really sleek um, you can see my camera over here a little bit of a downside if you are a neat freak it's going to leave like marks like fingertip marks um, but that doesn't really like affect me but let's just get into the packaging you have a really nice mirror over here over here you have what it what they call the sponge and you actually need to apply the foundation with this it is it feels like a very very um, dense sponge and you have a protector and when you open it so when you open it this is the foundation you just need to remove the sticker and you have the foundation over here when you press on it let me just you know zoom you in so as you can see the product is right in there it's kind of a big cushy um cushion if if, it, if that makes any sense and when you press on it you see there's the product that is coming up right over here so this is supposed to mimic like 8,000 pores or something like that. So I have two shades over here. I believe that the shades are different from the US and everywhere else in other countries. So I have the number three, Beige Pêche, and I have the number one, Pearl Porcelain. So when you select those um, shades, so those foundation can be chosen with the undertones. You have uh, cooler undertones, pink undertones, and uh, a neutral, if I'm not mistaken. I believe there's 11 or 12 shades. And one of my girlfriends here on YouTube, um, Jackie Aina, has reviewed this foundation and she loves it. So um, I wanted to use it as well. So I have two shades. I believe I would be between one and three, so two. So I'm gonna start with the lighter um, shade that I have. It seems pretty yellow toned, but we're gonna see. So I'm just taking my sponge right over here and you're supposed to basically just press on it. And the more you press harder, the more product is gonna get into that sponge. So I'm going to, okay, that's different. And I'm going to start off, actually this is not such a bad color match. It seems a little bit light, but I'm going to use the darker, um, color on the outer portion of my face. Now my face seems a little bit red right now because I just shaved, so my skin is a little bit raw. And this feels a little bit cool, but mostly because it's a liquid product. So you just need to press. It's kind of the same motion as the Beauty Blender, so it's gonna take approximately the same amount of time to you know distribute the product onto your face. And this is a dewy finish, so you need to keep in mind that if you are of an oily skin, you probably need to set it if you are more on the drier skin type, you might not need to set it. And I've seen uh, Lisa Eldridge, you can, to get in those crevices, she just, you know, folds the sponge in half so you can get, you know, in the nose area. And actually, there's not such a strong smell to this. It's kind of light. Lancome products don't really have like an overwhelming scent usually. I'm a big fan of their foundation, so I'm excited to try this out. So right off the bat, um, I can say that the application is not my favorite, um, oh. mostly because one, um, it just seems I don't like the, um, it's not the tapping that bugs me, it's more of having this onto your fingers for some reason. I don't, 
like it. I prefer the Beauty Blender, and I'm wondering if you would like tap your Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender in that foundation if it would do the same thing. Also, I can tell you right now, which is a plus, that it feels really light onto the skin. It feels definitely hydrating. Doesn't feel heavy. And I'm actually usually a big fan of lighter coverage foundation because you can usually build them up. But this one is kind of very, very, um, I wouldn't say like super light, but it's definitely one of the lighter foundation that I've used. I'm then going to go in my other shade and I'm going to try which is a darker shade. Yeah, this one is definitely more dark. I'm mostly going to use that on the outer edge of my face. It's actually really, really yellow toned. But I'm not really testing this for the shades, mostly for the wear time and, um, you know, overall application and things of that nature. Okay, so this is the finish I'm going for. It is definitely a light finish. It feels light onto the skin. I can see that it's dewy. I like that. Um, I was a little bit concerned because some dewy foundations can kind of maximizes the look of pores. But this one, I mean, does a great job. It doesn't like hide them, but it doesn't emphasize them, which I really, really like. I should stop playing around now. So yes, this is what it looks like. Very, it feels really, really good onto the skin. And really like when I look up close, I mean, it looks really, really, really natural. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to finish off my makeup, wear this makeup out, and I'll be back. So 20 minutes later, I did the rest of my face, my brows, eyeshadows, lips, contour, and uh, bronzer. Now, I didn't apply any highlights because I wanted to see how the um, foundation on its own is going to work. Since it is the dewy finish, I just told myself, okay, let's not overly apply powder or things of that nature. As for uh, setting, I only set the under eye area and the middle of my forehead. That's basically it. So I'm going to see how this foundation works and how it wears and I'll check with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so it has been uh, nearly, it has been six hours and six minutes to be exact since I've had this on and I have something in my teeth. Forgot to have more lipstick. Okay, so we are back. Let me take these glasses off and now I'm gonna have, you know, those kind of really nice glasses stamped. So I'm going to take care of those glass stamp in a second, but it has, like I said, it has been several hours and I can say that the makeup held on really, really well, especially where I powdered. Um, I applied powder in the middle of my forehead and a little bit underneath my eyes, so everything is nice. I can see that there's a little bit of shininess going on onto the bridge of the nose and a little bit on the cheeks, but that usually doesn't bug me as, um, as long as it's kind of, you know, um, controlled. So I wouldn't actually wouldn't powder this. I would actually wait a couple more hours. But um, everywhere I powdered, makeup looks really, really bomb. Like, really bomb. It feels really, really light onto the skin. And it held on really, really nice. I'm really surprised with this foundation. So let me try and fix and reapply. Because it is mentioned that you can reapply this foundation on top of powder without it looking cakey and it actually works wow okay i'm really really surprised it doesn't look like super cakey it actually looks like blotting powder now of course i'm going to mess up my nose contour but that's not really a big issue not a lot of people actually wear their nose contour out okay this is really really surprising me i'm really surprised wow okay so overall this foundation is lightweight i would say it's it would probably have a wear time up to eight hours i don't think it's targeted to long wearing no it, it's not mentioned on the box but it is somewhat of long wear especially if you have normal to dry skin it will definitely you know last you for a long while. Now I did have a little dry patch on my nose and I forgot to mention when I applied the makeup it really grabbed onto it. So if you have dry patches make sure to you know moisturize your face before or you know make sure you don't have flaky patches because this uh, will probably grab onto it. 
But this foundation really, really is great, 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 great. The only downside for me for this foundation would be the application. I thought it would have been just like the Beauty Blender, but I guess maybe I maybe I'm master with the Beauty Blender. I can go really, really quickly, and I'm just not used to the, you know, sponge. But um. Uh, yeah, to me it takes a little, you know, a long time, you know, dragging or just tapping away. But that is just the very, very, you know, tiny negative side. I like the fact that it's really compact so you ladies can just throw it in your purse. And I tried the retouching thing and it really, really works well. On top of powder, um, it's weird because it's liquid. You know, sometimes liquid on top of a little bit of a powder finish or a dry finish will just cake up. But this really looks like you just apply foundation. But overall, I would say two thumbs up. This retails for, let me check on the website right about now. It retails for $48 um, Canadian and I would, I guess it would be around 44 American, something like that along those lines. It is somewhat of a pricey foundation, but it is a brand new type of foundation out there. You know, the cushion foundations are just starting to come out here in Canada, we don't have a lot of options, but if you are looking for a great one, I would definitely say that, you know, Lancome one is really, really well made and it's, you know, long wearing. It's a very lightweight onto the skin. It feels um, hydrating. I didn't, I don't feel the cooling factor. I felt it when I applied the makeup because it's kind of a wet finish. But other than that, it's really well done. Way to go. I do recommend it. Apart. Apart from being a little bit expensive and, you know, the applicator um, to me is just a little bit of a long period of time. But, you know, that's it. I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this foundation if you tried it. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Moi, j'ai de l'air d'un sofa chez ma tante Marie ou chez ma grand-mère ou j'ai de l'air d'un set de pétition.